Former Minister of Aviation Femi Fani Kayode switched sides. He announced his return to the All Progressive Congress yesterday. Now, this comes barely two years after he described the party as darkness, which he will never associate with. Recall that in 2019, there was a speculation that he was considering joining the ruling party, to which he said, and I quote, APC is a sinking ship. Uh, end of quote. He had accused the president, Major General Buhari, uh, led regime of deceiving Nigerians and anti, uh, with the anti-corruption war. Now, now that he's in the APC, he said he was just doing the right thing and that he believed that um, it was time for him to cross over and join hands with the president in moving the country forward. Well, joining us to break this down is Bola Alba. He's a political analyst. Thank you very much, Mr. Alba, for joining us. Pleasure to be here, sir. Yeah. It, let us examine the, the, the man, Fanny Kayade, because he, he's a, a very interesting and very outspoken um, um, you know, politician. We've seen and heard a lot from him in the past few years. Uh, and he's been very, very vocal about this government and the APC. But here we are uh, today talking about him in the APC uh, and somewhat taking back his words. Is Fanny Kayade the poster child for the average Nigerian politician, whether pay APC or PDP? is the ultimate poster child or uh, the ultimate iconic character of the opportunism that defines uh, our political environment. To be very honest with you, any political environment where uh, ideology is lacking, where conviction cannot be easily defined, where opportunism is the name of the, of, of the game and where the zeitgeist is wanting to be part of the shopping party. Shopping party. I guess uh, there is no better character on the Nigerian political terrain today that defines such rabid, rabid opportunism as for the Kennedy. But, but we've, I mean, it's not that we, yes, of course, a lot of people have put his head to the fire, his feet to the fire, but uh, he's not the only one who has moved to the APC. We've seen governors, we've seen senators. We even saw a, a member of the National Assembly, in, I think in River State or so, uh, move to the APC yesterday. There's been a mass movement of sorts. Uh, and it's not really new, these defections, even though, um, most of the people who defected at some point were bad-mouthing the APC. So should, should we even be making Fanny Kayade out to look like the bad guy here? The unfortunate part of Fanny Kayade is, is that unlike many chieftains of state who perhaps moved to the APC to cover or to protect themselves or shield themselves from the partisanly powered plague lights of EFCC. We know that those institutions are now uh, literally used for partisan purposes. Many executive chieftains of state who have moved to the APC because they want to shield themselves from the investigative eyes or the partisanly propelled investigative eyes of the EFCC, Fanny Kayode is a consummate player and a seasonal, a seasonal master, master, you know, a uh, player or maestro of this kind of political opportunism when we're getting nearer. You must remember how he used to be a virulent critic, a virulent antagonist of the former president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. And when it was just about time, at about this season, during the last political, political uh, uh, calendar, he also jumped chief and ultimately became the spokesperson of Dr. Gulokibele Jonathan's failed uh, re-elections campaign. 
So I'm not surprised. Okay. But in this case, you just uh, there are so many players, but why do we have to celebrate uh, uh, CR7, Cristiano uh, Ronaldo, or Messi? Because they're just good at what they do. For the kind of day, the ugliest face of the political maneuverings amongst Nigerian politicians. Let's so it is. And it's, 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 it's actually quite disturbing and very perturbing that a president that claims to be uh, to be integrity personified, that claims to be an agent of change, and someone who is uh, who is graciously referred to as Mister Integrity, could be the one now that will literally open the doors of the most dignified residents in this country to a political lowlifer. You know, but that's the name of the game. Mm -hmm. We thought Buhari was going to be different, but he's now telling us and showing us that in every material particular, he is as pedestrian as those that he was being touted to be better than. Let's go back to um, when the governor of Kogi State mentioned, in fact, he said it authoritatively, that Fanny Kayedi had joined, uh, you know, the APC. He came out and said, "No, that's not possible." He, I mean, that he he's not joined the APC. Again, Fanny Kayedi has, in in on joining the APC, has uh, started to wax lyrical. He's mentioned names of people he authoritatively believes are going to join the APC soon. He's mentioned um, one of the most thriving governors in the country, the Oyo State Governor Shay Makinde, as one of those who would be joining. Um, the, the APC, and, and he's even talked about Bauchi governor and Enugu governors um, joining the APC. He also took credit for some other people who have recently joined the APC. And I remember uh, the, that, that particular member uh, um, of the National Assembly, Assembly speaking on uh, an, another TV station, uh, saying that he would rather that Fanny Kayade retract that statement because he, it, it's an insult on his person. So it makes us really wonder if there's any truth to what he said, I mean, about all the other people he's pointing uh, to, to join the APC. The only thing that is consistent about Fanica Ode in his uh, very short political, political life thus far has been his consistent inconsistency. Uh, I don't want to take anything he says uh, with a grain of this, this, this thing, but having said that, um, we have somebody who, who is uh, who is an ambassador of the age of perfidy. So I am not one to who is going to be particularly particularly taking any of this character serious because for, 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 for a couple of a couple of weeks ago was far more vehement in rejecting the proposition that he was going to join the APC than anybody's rebuttal that you are alluding to now. I would even be surprised if a former president that has been so, so, uh, so reported, although he's yet to confirm it, so reported that he would be, uh, you know, going to the APC, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes. We are dealing with men and women who lack conviction. We are dealing with men and women who can do anything to protect themselves from the incongruities that they have, that they have conducted whilst abusing the offices they hold. Mm. So it's easy for them to to, to trade integrity for opportunism. We are dealing with characters. So let, let's be very honest with ourselves. The only saddening part of it was that for a while, some of us, between 2014 and 2015, foolishly believed, let me own up and apologize to Nigerians, although I, I withdrew my support for him, okay. 2018, 2019, 
when to me they had defined themselves as somebody whose presidency was ultimately going to fail, but between 2014 and 2015, I was one too who foolishly believed that it was go. a character that could function above above his peers. Now okay. I know it's just one of them. We have to go. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. Uh, Bolaba is a political analyst. Thank you so much for being part of this conversation. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be on your set. All right. Virtually. Okay. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We hope you enjoyed the conversations. We'll take a short break now and go through the highlights of this week. And when we return, I'll be saying my goodbyes. My sister, I am equally at a loss the way you are. In fact, as a person, I am embarrassed by the lines of action taken by government or in the handling, in the manner in which the government is handling a lot of situations emanating from this fight against terrorism and banditry. I am at a loss. If security considered part of the uh, 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 do I say uh, 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 the tripod on which this government came into power? I expect to see far greater lines of actions that would at every point reassure the citizen that even if we are not making some impact, we have a government that cares. I really cannot understand what's happening. Frankly speaking, the UAA authorities have given us a list of 400 persons, okay, who, who are operators and are said to be sponsors behind Boko Haram. Till now, we are still hesitant at bringing them to book. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it that some individuals in government know what we don't know? The management of information I think is very, very poor in government today uh, because we should have uh, a focal point of somebody who is supposed to make statements when it comes to issues of security. I think the National Security Advisor should say something or the Minister of Defense, not the Minister of Police Affairs. You know, the Minister of Police Affairs should be telling us about internal security and what police can well, do. Well, I'll tell you what the National Security Advisor has said lately. He has told IPOP that they should stay clear of the Anambra elections. Is that the most important thing that the NSA should be discussing right now? Well, it concerns national security. It concerns national security because, um, well, when you are trying to stop the political process, you know, it concerns national security. So, well, it's, it's in place for him to tell them to stay away um, if they're agitating for their own independence or whatever. I think there are other channels. And I think a lot of people in the Southeast agree to this, that there should be other channels than disrupting or violence is not just the answer. There was never evidence that those people at the, at the toll gate were armed. They even admitted. The military admitted, General Taiwo admitted that the protesters were not armed. Now to your question, I don't want us to be over-optimistic about what is going to be done by these findings. At the end of the day, the Judicial Commission of Inquiry will submit its report and make recommendations. Whether those recommendations will be implemented is a different thing entirely. But given the antecedents of this regime, I am convinced that it is very unlikely that any of those soldiers will ever be caught martial or put on trial. Because this is a regime that has shown itself unwilling to abide by the rule of law. A regime that has shown continuous contempt for human life. A regime that does not have any respect for international best practices and rules of engagement. So you don't expect that regime, a regime that has lied on record about the activities at the toll gate, to now take a somersault and implement whatever finding this commission is going to make. I would say that the that, uh, federal government did not also do well in some ways because if people are agitating at the beginning of this agitation, 
if government had uh, had approached it via dialogue, maybe we wouldn't have gotten to the point that we are today. Um, it would be shameful and sad if um, um, former President Google Jonathan uh, decides to join the APC out. I won't be surprised, so to say, but it would be very, very sad and shameful of him to do that. Um, because if you go back um, and um, try to read through all the comments, all the abuses hurled at him by uh, uh, members of APC that are now asking him to come and join them, and you ask yourself, are our politicians suffering from dementia or something? Is that something that we're not aware of as people that the politicians are aware of? You know, because it's, it's for me, it is completely laughable, it is completely unacceptable, and does not hold water in a civilized society that we all belong to. And that's the show for tonight. And this week, of course, we will see you on Monday next week as the stories keep developing and as news breaks, we will be here talking for development. I am Mary Anna Cohn. Have a great weekend.